Hi everyone, it's Colleen from Traverse Area District Library uh, here today to show you how to make another craft. This week we have our Fairy Garden Seed Bombs. Once again, you can pick these up at the Main Branch Library. So if you want to partake in our craft, please stop by and grab a kit. This one is a pretty simple one, only has three ingredients in it. So we have clay. This is air dry clay. Soil. Just your basic run of the mill, out of a bag garden soil. And some wildflower seeds. So this is a seed bump. So it is a little ball of clay that you make into a pretty shape. Um, and then add seeds and soil and then let it dry. After it dries, you are able to go put it out in any place where you want some flowers to grow. And then when it rains, you will get a, hopefully a little fairy garden of flowers. So take your clay, I'll roll it into a little ball. Now keep in mind, this is terracotta clay, so it makes your hands a little orange. So just be aware of that. I took off all my rings just so it wouldn't stain anything. It does wash off pretty well with water though, so no worries there. And roll it into a ball. Um, I have a paper plate just because it is kind of staining. Um, if you're not afraid of getting it on your table, then that's cool. It tends to wash off fine with water, but I'm just being safe. Um, take it and kind of flatten it out so that we can get our ingredients added. Take your soil and add it into your clay. You probably have to work a little bit at a time. Kind of fold it in so that it all mixes together for you. Get that off the plate a little bit there and massage it in. Roll it out a little more again. Doesn't have to be perfect. Add some more soil. Get as much of that soil in as you can because it kind of starts as your base for your flower garden. Give it a little something to start with. You can't get all of that soil incorporated, that's okay. Um, I don't know that honestly, this is all gonna get mixed in, but as much as you can, just to give it a little bit of a start. A little more soil, work that in. I think in 2020, we could all use some, some pretty flowers to improve our day. I think we could all agree on that. Alright, so I'm going to just keep kind of massaging this in. I'm about halfway, three quarters of the way through my soil. I'm kind of getting to the point where it's not sticking together as well as it was. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit more. And massage that in. You want it to make sure it's still going to stick together. If you add too much soil, it kind of stops the clay from actually being able to stick together. So we definitely don't want that. All right, I have about well, most of my most of my soil I got managed to get worked in there. So that's kind of what we look like now, pretty marbled with soil. So you want to take your ball and kind of roll it out flat again. Again, if you can't work all that soil in, that's fine. You just have to make sure that it's still going to stick together enough that you can form it and shape it. So it is okay if you don't get them all in. I'm going to take our wildflower seeds and do the same thing. There's only like a quarter of a teaspoon of seeds, so you can probably put them all in at once. But take that in, kind of fold it into your clay and soil mixture. And massage that in and through. If your seeds kind of fall out, that's okay. You can use your clay to kind of stick them back up there. And then massage that through. If your hands are nice and orange, that means you're doing it right. It means you're getting in there. All right. 
seed going a little bit easier than that soil, so that's good. Get those other ones kind of worked in. If your clay starts to get really, really dry, it's okay to add just a couple drops of water. Uh, just make sure you don't overdo it or you get a sticky mess of seeds and soil and clay. All right, so this is what we're looking at now. Our ball of clay with soil and seeds in it. From here, you can take this and make it any shape that you'd like. Well, I'm gonna try to make a little, little heart here. Now is your time to be creative if you'd like. Make it whatever cool shape that you'd like. Do remember that it's a little harder to work with with all of that clay mixed with the soil and everything. So you might not be able to get as detailed as you would with this clay, but it's okay. You can still make something cute, like a little heart. Pretty cute little heart. All right, now once this is all shaped and through to your liking, of course it's not to my liking because I'm a perfectionist, but it'll work. Take it and let it air dry, just like air dry clay's name. Um, once it's all dry, you can take this and put it in any place that you want your flowers to grow. Um, preferably someplace where there's soil already, because you want to kind of give it a place to grow at. And the next time it rains, it should dissolve this clay and leave your seeds and flowers behind. So have a nice little head start to your fairy garden. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. Hope you get a little bit of sunshine from your fairy garden kind of a dreary year so thanks guys have a good day